Hey, hey, Waffle Gang, I do hope you're well. My name is Mark, and today we're checking out some more relationship stories. And if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. It all massively helps out. And let's crack on with today's first story, which comes from Throwaway Boyfriend123 from the True Off My Chest subreddit and says, I broke up with my boyfriend because of his views on cheating. This is a throwaway. I don't know what to feel. Me, 25 female, and my boyfriend, 28 male, have been together for three years now. We have always been living together for two years. I know his family. He has one brother, Sam, 33 male, who is married to Lisa, 32 female. They have one daughter who is four years old. He's very close to his brother, which resulted in me being closer to his wife and kids too. Sam sometimes comes to our place and plays video games with my boyfriend. One day when they were playing video games, Sam put his phone on charge in our guest room. I was there cleaning the windows when suddenly his phone buzzed. I went to look and there was a girl named Office texting him. I had a great time last night. Your tongue is magic. With some emojis. I was a little shocked. Sam always shows how much he adores his wife. Even Lisa says he's the best husband. How could he cheat? This was the first incident. And one day when he was at our house again, he was talking loudly while I was right by the kitchen, while he was talking on the phone in our guest room with doors open. He was saying, I love you to a girl's name, Beth. This confirmed my suspicion even more. I told my boyfriend, I think his brother is cheating on his wife. I asked him if he knows anything about it. And his expression went blank. He told me he knew about it and I was perplexed. I asked, what does he mean? He began to tell me Sam has been seeing other girls on the side. He doubled it down, saying it's not a big deal because Lisa is happy. He is happy and plus he doesn't like to mix in other people's business. I asked him if he thinks that his brother cheating on Lisa was right. How could he defend his brother over something so vile? He told me it is their personal life. Plus he doesn't want to ruin his brother's marriage. I told him firmly his brother's marriage was already ruined the moment he decided to stick his bits inside someone else that isn't his wife, and he's clearly wrong for supporting him. How would he feel if I was cheating on him and my sister knew and never told him? He of course said he would feel bad, but this isn't about him. I just told him to leave me alone. Cheating is a deal breaker for me. I do not like people who are cheaters or support cheating. I can't even look at him the same way I used to. So a few weeks ago, I called him and told him this isn't working. I cannot be with someone who supports cheating and doesn't mind someone else cheating. He cried and told me not to do it, that he will do better and this isn't fair to him. I cannot punish him for what his brother is doing. I told him calmly that this is not a punishment but my decision. I already told him that cheating is a deal breaker for me, I will not tolerate it in any shape or form and I went to stay with my brother. Two days later, I went to our place to get some stuff of mine. He asked me if he could talk, and I said sure. He told me he was wrong for not saying anything against his own brother. Lisa is a good woman, and that he would ask his brother to stop. I told him that doesn't make me feel better. The fact that he thinks it's okay to cheat clearly shows he has no problem cheating on me. He told me he is not cheating on me, and that he will be better. I asked him if he could tell Lisa about his husband's affair. He went silent and told me he can't go against his own brother. Well, then I guess he made his choices. I left his place leaving him crying on his couch. I feel bad. I love him, but the trust I had for him is gone. I do not know how to tell everything to Lisa. I'm not sure what to do. I feel lost. And it breaks out in the comments on this one. So a commenter said, you did right, but tell me you told Lisa a piece of crap husband cheated on her. And then a commenter replied to that and says, how was that right? Breaking up with somebody who had nothing to do with the cheating. Someone responded to that one and said, Breaking up with someone because your moral compasses are incompatible is 100% okay. Then the person before that replied again saying, This is far-fetched. The guy did nothing. Got it? It might be a red flag, but OP overreacted. I would never break up a healthy relationship over something like this. And I like one of those comments in that, you know, breaking up with someone because your moral compasses are incompatible is 100% okay. And myself, I totally agree with that. Otherwise, you're staying with someone in a relationship who's got the morals that think, you know, cheating is okay and, you know, wife's happy, so why get involved kind of thing. And that's acceptable. I, don't, I think you'd find yourself losing trust for that person and always side-eyeing your own relationship, which just won't be healthy in the long term, will it? 
But another commenter says, congrats on recognizing a moral flaw in his character and realizing he would not make a trustworthy long-term partner. But he is afraid to expose his brother. He's relying on someone else to do that for him. Tell Lisa her husband is cheating on him and, and to look up Office and Beth on his phone. It's up to her what she does from there. The next commenter says, I would tell Lisa because she can catch an STD. I had a friend who was pregnant and found out she had an STD and that's how she found out he cheated and had birth complications. I would just tell her and if needed, call him when she is there and ask your boyfriend again so she can hear him confirm it. That's all you can do. Move on from him because he will do it to you since he doesn't think it's a big deal, which is a messed up view. The next commenter says, don't listen to people who are telling you that your boyfriend is right. He is obviously wrong. If he has no problem with his brother cheating on his wife, then he wouldn't have a problem with cheating on you. I hope you tell Lisa about it. And one more commenter who says, good for you. I agree. If his brother wants to sleep with other people, then he should respect the person he chose to marry and end that relationship. I completely agree that it shows your ex lacks morals. He's lied for his brother, therefore he's okay with cheating. He could say to his brother, I don't agree with you and what you're doing and I won't allow you to use me as an alibi and I won't lie for you, but he didn't. Please tell the wife. It is then up to her how she deals with it, but anything that happens is on the brother. And before the update, OP edits that original post and says, to the idiots who says that my boyfriend is not wrong, I hope you find yourself in a similar situation as Lisa. I would like to know how you would feel when you learn that your husband betrayed you and people close to you knew about it and let you get cheated on day after day. He has covered for his brother on many occasions. He has lied to Lisa telling her that Sam is with him when he is not. Even if he didn't, him simply acting is not a big deal that women who is loyal to her husband is getting cheated on is wrong and malicious in my eyes. Him concealing his cheating is also putting her at risk of STDs. And also, what if Sam got one of those girls pregnant? Ever thought about that? It's not like they were in an open or poly relationship. So then OP updates the post. He says, hello, guys. Thanks for all the kind words. I wanted to make an update the day after I posted it to reassure you guys I did tell Lisa. But something came up and I was delayed. So I did tell her the very day I made this post, even though I had no evidence. I got some encouragement from you guys too. For all I know, she could scream at me, but hey, if that happens, at least I wouldn't have to live with this giant guilt that I misled a friend of mine. I talked to Lisa telling her everything on the phone. She just told me she can't speak right now and thanked me for informing her, which was weird. I didn't hear from her for the next three days. I only heard from her when my ex called my brother to yell at me. He called me a home wrecker because I snitched to Lisa and today she took her daughter and served Sam divorce papers. I was even more confused. It's not possible to file a divorce paper within three days. I called Lisa. She didn't pick up but texted me to come to Sam's house. I went with my brother because I didn't know how safe it is for me. When I entered, I saw my ex, Sam, and their parents along with Lisa. Sam looked really crap. My ex jumped on me by saying I did this to his brother. Lisa told my ex to calm down. She carried on to explain that she already knew Sam was cheating for a while. One of the girls he hooked up with contacted her and showed her the messages between him and her. The girl worked in his office. The girl felt really guilty knowing that she hooked up with a married man and so she told Lisa before quitting her job. I'm guessing she felt really guilty and couldn't work there or something. Lisa further told us she had been planning on leaving Sam since then. She needed time to get her things sorted and gather evidence that would help her in court. She was mostly a homemaker but worked part-time so there were financial issues too. She went on to expose Sam even more of his deeds in front of his own parents and told Sam she wants full custody because Sam bringing one of his whores around her daughter is not safe. From what she described, Sam is pretty screwed in the divorce. She also didn't spare my ex. She has basically told him she has never treated him like an outsider. That if someone was cheating on him, she would definitely tell him. Even if that someone was her own family member. She finds it really sad that she had to know from a stranger what his brother was up to rather than someone closer to her and someone she loved like a brother. My ex was silent. A lot more things came to light because there was a lot of yelling and pointing fingers. Sam has been cheating on Lisa for three years. My ex knew it for the last two years and has been covering for Sam. Sam's parents were disappointed at him as well. And apparently my ex also lied to his parents about why we broke up. He told his parents I fell in love with someone else and that's why I left him. Why he did that? Because 
His stupid brother thought it was a great cover-up. Because even if I told Lisa, then no one would believe in me because I was the one who cheated and projecting it on his brother. Lisa called me here to clean my name and also thanked me for informing her, even if she knew it all along. Their parents apologized to both of us and told us they are ashamed of their sons. I just felt bad for them. After that, I went home. Lisa asked me if she could stay with me and I said sure. She was stoic when she was talking to Sam and his parents, but as soon as she entered my house, she broke down in tears. She told me that she should have listened to her friends who told her Sam was not a decent person. She left her job and her law study so that she could be with him. I felt really bad for her. I know this will be really tough on her and her daughter. I wish there was more I could do, but I am really impressed that she handled the situation with such poise. I hope she decides to continue her law studies like she wanted to. She sacrificed a lot for that B. Also to all of those who thinks my ex was right to not snitch on his brother. You guys don't see how he's putting her at risk. Sam was having sex with literally everything that was a hole. You guys think it would be better to keep her in the dark. I know she knew about it, but what if she didn't? What if Sam's careless whoring put her partner in danger of an STD? Some STDs are life-threatening like HIV. Him not coming clean of his brother's deeds was seriously putting her in danger of it. And I wasn't punishing him. I simply cannot live with someone who would support cheating. To me, that is exactly like cheating. Moreover, he lied and covered for him. Who is to say he wouldn't mind cheating on me because he clearly thinks cheating is not a big deal. Even if he wasn't covering for him, the mere fact that he thinks it's okay for someone to get cheated on is a huge no for me. I'm really shocked to see how many people are willing to take the cheater's side instead of the one who's getting cheated on. And now I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this relationship? What would you do if you was OP? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Let's move on to another story. And our next story comes from Throwaway Uncle. It does come with an update as well from the Am I the A-Hole subreddit. That says, Am I the A-Hole for choosing to go on a trip with my girlfriend instead of taking care of my struggling brother's son? For context, my 24 male brother Luke, 31 male, his wife Emma, 28 female, and their son Kyle, 4 male, moved to my city last year because Emma got a new job. They would occasionally ask me to watch Kyle because I work from home with very flexible hours. I personally do not like kids at all, but I was happy to do it at the time because I wanted to help them. It was not that often, maybe once or twice every two weeks, and Kyle was very well behaved. Now the issue started near the end of last year when Luke decided to change careers. He was previously working remotely as well. His new job required him to go to work a lot more often and make substantially less money. This left them depending on me more and more to take care of Kyle. It went from once or twice every two weeks to around three days out of the week. To make matters worse, Kyle's behavior changed drastically. To be completely honest, I can barely stand the kid anymore constantly running around and screaming while I'm trying to work and just overall being a little crap. My sister-in-law Emma was over the other day picking up Kyle and made some comments about getting rid of some of the dangerous furniture in my house like tables with glass edges and stuff so that my home is safer for their son. I made a joke about baby proofing my house because they're planning to have a daughter. That peed me off but I didn't say anything. The situation hit a breaking point last Friday when I was talking about the one and a half week long trip I was going on with my girlfriend on the 15th. Me and my girlfriend like to travel somewhere nice at least once a month. We could not the past couple of months because of Kyle, but I promised my girlfriend we would go somewhere exotic for Valentine's. Upon hearing this, they got pretty mad saying, who was going to take care of Kyle? That I need to stop these childish trips and I need to take more responsibility because I'm an uncle now. I'm not going to lie. After hearing this, I effing snapped. I said that their demon child isn't my responsibility and I'm not going to give up my life because they effed without a condom. It got pretty obscene from there and some horrible things were said. They left and we are no longer on speaking terms. My parents and Emma's parents are on their side and extremely angry at me for refusing to pull my weight. My parents said this is my duty and I should be sacrificing everything to help them. It honestly got me really down and I've cried my eyes pretty much every day seeing those messages from my family. I'm starting to wonder if I really should be taking more responsibility. Am I the a-hole for choosing my trips over my brother and nephew? 
had to go back over the story because I thought I was missing something about, you know, your parents, Emma's parents are on their side and they're extremely angry at you for refusing to pull your weight and saying that you should be sacrificing everything to help them. And what about them? Are they not doing anything to help in this situation? It's one of those situations we've seen time and time again where they're like, oh no, you need to sacrifice everything to help your brother, but, but we're not going to do crap about it. And I'd be incredibly peed off in your situation as well, especially the comments saying, oh, you know, you need to baby proof your house because they're planning to have a daughter. So they clearly have the expectation of you looking after this child as well. They're incredibly fortunate to have someone taking care of their child like you were doing and they should have been grateful of it they should have been said absolutely go and get that well needed break thank you so much for everything you're doing but instead they chose to be assholes about it and now they're going to see the consequences of their own actions but we're going to start in the comments with croc of pot who says not the a-hole sounds like your and emma's parents need to start doing their duty and watching their grandchild if they're not willing to do that all they're huffing and puffing that you need to watch carl is just hot air this is not your child and you have no weight to pull. It's just reeks of trying to gang up on you because you're the youngest and you're nice and they think you are going to cave. Stay strong and keep your boundaries. Author says not the a-hole. The childcare discussion should have happened before your brother made his career change and should have included you since they were planning on relying on you more. Also, do they ever pay you for this? Edit to add, I will say one thing that's really important here is don't blame Kyle. You called him a demon child and that doesn't sit well with me due to the extenuating circumstances. He's a kid and likely going through a rough time due to the changes in his parents are making. Absolutely blame your brother and sister-in-law for bad parenting. Yeah, I agree with that as well. Throwaway Chi says not the a-hole. Your family are guilting you because none of them could be asked to take care of the son either. Sorry this is happening to you OP but stand your ground, you're 100% right. Sounds like your brother and sister-in-law have become entitled to your help and forgotten what it's like to be solely responsible for your kid, so they've begun to rely on your help. But as you so rightfully pointed out, this is totally a them problem. Your parents are probably joining in because they know if you stop looking after Kay altogether, they'd be relied on a lot more. Also, your outburst. Yeah, maybe not the best way to react, but they push you to breaking point and you snapped. Also, they were being rude and unreasonable in their expectations, so I don't expect you to what, respond 100% calmly and rationally either. Lemita says, not the a-hole. I can't stand the, in quotes, I need to stop these childish trips and that I need to take more responsibility because I'm an uncle now. Lol. Like you made the kid with them. Like you're in some kind of three-way parenting situation. It's one thing to watch your nephew once in a while. It's a whole other thing to watch the kid three times a week, every week. They need to stop there childish demands and get a nanny for Kyle ASAP because they are parents now. Plus, it would be better for Kyle. You're not focusing on him while watching him and that's completely normal since one, you're working from home and most important two, it's not your damn responsibility. So then Opie came back in to update the post and said thank you everyone for the comments. After reading through for about an hour, it kind of helped me realize how toxic my relationship is with my family. As many of you mentioned, yes, my brother is the golden child of the family. I'm thinking about it now that favoritism is the main reason I wanted to move away from them so badly in the first place. I had a talk with my brother and my sister-in-law where I apologized for calling their child a demon and for the condom remark. They accepted my apology, but they did not apologize to me. Apparently, ours and my sister-in-law's parents were just not letting them, but encouraging them to use me for help the whole time. I told them how exhausted and frustrated I was and how much this whole crap show has hurt me and that I would not be watching Kyle anymore, period, and that they need to figure something else out. They did not take it well, and my sister-in-law started yelling again, and after some arguing, my sister-in-law said that if I would not watch Kyle, the least I could do is pay for his daycare and help with some of our expenses, since I have the money to zip off to another country every month. I was honestly appalled. I would not have minded to help them out financially, but the tone of her voice, as she said it was just infuriating. The only thing they heard was that I would not continue helping them. They didn't give a crap about anything else I said. I just got up and left the house without saying a word. I wanted to leave before I completely exploded again. 10 minutes after I left, my phone started buzzing with them and my parents and I just put it on do not disturb. I read a lot of comments saying I should go no contact and I really did not want to have to do that but they are clearly not interested in respecting me as a human being so that's it. 
will not be speaking to my family until they want to genuinely apologize to me. Thanks, guys. And there was a couple of relevant comments on this one as well. So someone has said, is sister-in-law pregnant again? Opie responded and said, I don't think she's pregnant yet. Someone's asked about their financial situation like the brother and sister-in-law. And Opie said, my city is very expensive to live in. And they really did not plan well before coming here. It worked out for them when my brother had his old job and they could get by fairly comfortably. But his new job is making things difficult for them. Someone asks about what country and culture is this and OP says, we're Israeli, but I moved to California for school when I was 18 on a scholarship. I think they're still peed off at me for moving away when they probably expected me to stay and be their slave. I don't fully realize how dysfunctional my relationship is with my family before posting here because I don't really talk about it much with other people in real life. And one more comment OP gives about sister-in-law and says, my sister-in-law is American and got a dream job here, so they moved here for her to do that. My parents still live in Israel and the in-laws live in Wyoming. Apologies about that pronunciation. My brother lived in Wyoming with them for two years before moving here. And now I'm going to turn this story to you guys. What would you suggest to OP in this situation? Do you think they're going down the right path? Do you think there's any other way to fix this relationship? I think with the attitude that has been displayed there, I think time away from your family is absolutely the right move here. I know it's always extremely easy to say on one side of the microphone, but there's clearly a complete lack of disrespect for OP in the situation, which is just not on. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories. Your love, your support, your time always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much for being involved. And hopefully I'm going to see you in the next one. Take care and much love.